The power button is if you click on the car. Well, I mean, it's sort of on the order of 30 to 35 million dollars. This video is brought to you by Asus ProArt P16, the ultimate creator laptop that doesn't just look good, but lets you bring the workstation performance anywhere. Professional 16-inch 4K OLED display, AMD Ryzen 9 AI CPU, and NVIDIA RTX 4070 GPU, and that's just the beginning. Go check out our whole playlist about this device and the full overview in the video description below. Thanks Asus ProArt for sponsoring this part of the video. So it looks like there's a few different types of processors that you can get. Mine here seems to be the 8845HS Ryzen CPU, 32 gigs of RAM on one terabyte SSD. So this is probably the power brick. Oh my word, it actually is a Cybertruck. Uh, does Elon Musk know that this has been made? Where is the PC? Oh, I can see something is inside here. As you can see, there's a fan heatsink here, another fan over there. That's an actual car, like it works. Oh, the wheels turn as well. The doors open. Oh. What is that? The, the back does open, you just have to pull on it. And it goes like that, like an actual Cybertruck. A little bonnet as well. Okay, I wanna see what's inside this here. It's a power brick, 100 watts. Where do you plug it in? Okay, there's one USB port in there. Where's the instructions? Oh, there's a secret slot that I couldn't find. This back pumper. Oh, there it is. There's all the parts. So we'll plug this in the back here and then we'll get a HDMI cable and put that in the back there as well. I guess we're gonna have to use this part as well. The only thing is, where is the, the power button? Let's see if we can figure it out. I'm gonna have to look at the manual. There is no <laughs> instructions that say, where's the power button? Did you see that? The power button is if you click on the car, look at that. We've got some lights on in the front here and lights on in the back as well. That's absolutely amazing. Let's peel this off as well. Okay, it's making a lot of Windows updates in the background and downloading stuff. But regardless, I wanna see how well does this perform. Ryzen 7 8845HS. Let's take a look at the specs of this PC. So that is the CPU. 8 cores, 16 threads, 32 gigs of RAM, it's 4800 MHz, so dim, so it could be faster with this RAM stick, probably 56 even. 1 terabyte SSD, doesn't say what SSD this is. We have Wi-Fi 6, PCI NIC, so looks like the Wi-Fi card can be changed as well. An integrated AMD Radeon 780M graphics. Multi-core start, and let's take a look at the wattage here then. Pushing 64 watts. 65 watts thermal throttling no that's not necessarily even loud it's a little bit lower now 64 watts it was about 54 or something like that about 10 watts less than we boosted at first but come on that's uh, pretty good points considering we're full on installing and downloading stuff on windows update in the background i mean this is absolutely amazing so let's turn the pc off Okay, when you just press it, I guess it doesn't go off. If we hold it down, maybe that's how it goes off. Let's shut it down. I want to know what's inside this thing. So the IO pods, we have two USB type C's. Maybe one of them is USB 4. I'm not exactly sure. One HDMI, USB type A and the power block. Is this to like hide your cables or something? I guess you could. So first, you can see some small screws here. So the way this works is the fan blows in and the air comes downwards, which is a little bit anti-gravity. Okay, it would be easier if it either came through the side because air doesn't really like turning, especially 90 degrees like in here, or it would just blow through. So what we have here is a simple SSD upgrade if you want to do that. There's a big thermal pad on top of it to keep it cool there. I'm not sure what model this is, but this is PCIe Gen 3 by 4 NVMe LS storage. 
And once that has come off, then we can take the PC off, I suppose. So the actual suspension of the truck is the power button. That's insane. So I think this can stay there. We have these screws here now. It's interesting, two of these little PCB pieces here are just the back lights. So I've got to be careful not to snap them. Is that coming off now? Oh, there's one more. Careful, careful, careful. I have to take the M.2 SSD off from the other side. Carefully. Okay, I will have to take these four screws off as well. There we go. <laughs> Here's the PC. Wow. Okay, so there is another M.2 slot. Well, actually, this is the main one. Oh, no, there's another one over here. So as you can see, there was something plugged into that there. We do have a full M.2 slot in here as well, but... You're not going to be able to fit anything into there, unfortunately. So I guess they've taken some kind of a laptop PCB here and then just try to adopt everything else. We can actually change the RAM. So if you've got 32 gigabytes, you can easily put more than that in. You've got sodium slots in there. This is a Kim Tigo RAM. Interesting choice, Elon Musk. One fan secondary fan one goes over there and then the second one is a tiny tiny little heatsink attached to that one i think the cooling is okay i think for this type of pc or what you're going to be doing with it it's completely fine but you can't really push more than 65 watts through it there's a little bit of cooling for the vrms in there as well there is lots of like other headers that you can see that they haven't used so I think this here or some of these are usually what you have for a display. Here we have another M.2 slot that is obviously not occupied. This one here unoccupied. And if I'm not mistaken, this is either a fan header. Yeah, that's the fan header there. As you can see, similar one just over there. Uh, the power button is routed on the bottom over there and it gets signal from this. I think I got it. The power button is the most genius thing I have ever seen. Put the M.2 SSD back. I believe you could put in a Gen 4 NVMe there as well, because that CPU that's inside there does support Gen 4 NVMe's as well. Do you remember that M.2 SSD slot that we said we can't get to? Imagine if we could actually take like the back panel off here, plug it into there, and there is um, a riser cable that takes you to PCA 16 slot, for example, here and maybe another power cable that you could put in the back or if, if that power plug could actually deliver some power as well to the PCA slots. And we could put a GPU like all the way into the top here. That would be so cool. You could get a full size GPU on top of the Cybertruck as if it's carrying this. That is so cool. Like this, you could not even tell that this is a PC. Right, come on. Wi-Fi, it's got Bluetooth, it's got all sorts of things. So if you do want to pick this one up, I'm going to leave the link in the description below. I believe this is an Indiegogo project or something like that. Just go check it out. I'm not exactly sure. And um, if I find any other information, discount calls or something, you'll find it all in the description below. But super cool PC.